who I am? I get wet for my job all the time. Some of my favorite habitats are coral reefs and kelp forests. I studied animal life at school and learned all about the 71% of our planet that is covered in ocean water. My friends and I are working to preserve wildlife, whales, sharks, and other endangered water dwellers. I spend my time on boats, researching sea creatures and their environment. Who am I? A marine biologist! Some lemurs are nocturnal, which means they are mainly awake during the night. Because of their limited vision, lemurs rely a lot on their sense of smell. When lemurs are low on food, they will sometimes slow down their metabolism. In some species of lemurs, their tails are longer than their bodies. Lemurs have stink bites to control their territory. The stinkiest lemur wins! Pretty cool, huh? What should you do when it rains cats and dogs? Watch out for those poodles! Ruff, ruff, ruff. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear! Arr. What do you call a bear with no fur? A bear bear! <laughs> what do you call a bear with no socks on? I don't know. Barefooted. <laughs> <laughs> Why do pandas like old movies? because they're in black and white. What do you call it when you cross a bear and a rain cloud? Ooh, I know this one, a drizzly bear. <sighs> rain plane. Where would you be surprised to see a teddy bear? I would be surprised to see it in the middle of the road. In the pantry, sitting on my bike, in the water. <laughs> In a box. Probably in my brother's room. In a swamp. In daddy's coffee cup. Naked! Today we're going to make a Fuzzy Friends magnet. Materials are cotton balls, glue, magnet, scissors, and a jar lid, and some decorations. So what do we do first? First, we just take a jar lid. Okay and take a whole bunch of cotton balls. Okay. Not too much glue, but... Like circle it around. Yeah. yeah. I think wait. these would be great gifts. Okay, I'm done, so... Is it okay if I go ahead and put them in the magnet? Oh yeah, sure. There you go. Thanks. You might want to make the magnet a little bit bigger, as long as the cap, so that way you'll be able to stick it on the fridge. Okay. I'm going to start with the eyeball. This is going to be an unusual dog because it has a peach nose. My dog has a nice little smile. I need to trim my dog hair, so... Oh, that's so cute. And then I'm going to put the little lamb face right there. Cute. Right. Oh, I like yours. Thank you. I like yours too. Thanks. I like your legs. Oh, that's so cute. What did one octopus say to the other octopus? I don't know. I want to hold your hand, 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 hand. Do you mean tentacles? Why do elephants have trunks? Because they love to travel. Get it? Why did the dolphin cross the bay? To get to the other tide. <laughs> what kind of phone does a turtle use? A shell phone. Beep, boop, beep. Hello? Hair? Oh yeah, the race is tomorrow. What do you call a penguin in the desert? Lost. 
water, water. Water, water. Can you figure out who I am? I work in some of the coldest temperatures in the world. My coworkers and I dress in lots of layers. Where I work, some days the sun never sets, and other days the sun never rises. I have a thirst for adventure, but I must know wilderness survival skills, and I'm always prepared for anything with my backpack full of equipment. Occasionally, I get to work closely with rare wildlife. Who am I? A polar explorer. Brain plane. If you were a cat, would you rather live inside or outside? Why? I would rather live inside a home. I live inside because you have more things to eat and you can watch TV. Inside. Because it's safer. You would get all the food you need? Inside because when it's raining, I wouldn't get my fur wet. Sloths can be anywhere from two to two and a half feet long and weigh between eight and 17 pounds. Sloths can turn their heads around 270 degrees. That's almost all the way around. 11,000 years ago, there were ancient sloths called megatherium. They were the size of modern elephants. Sloths are surprisingly good swimmers and sometimes travel from tree to tree in the water during the rainy season. Baby sloths can spend up to the first 12 months of their lives hanging on to their mothers and never touch the ground. Pretty cool, huh? Make it! Today we're gonna make party invitations. The materials we need are an envelope, cardstock, googly eyes, ribbon, scissors, markers, glue, and chenille sticks. First, we need to trace the envelope on the cardstock. And then I think we're gonna glue this on around it. While you're doing that, I'm gonna glue my bug together. Great Sounds job. like a great idea. I'll do the bug. Great. So I'm gonna put a little glue right here too. So um, should we make the eyes? That's a great idea. There, now I got one eye. One more to go. While you guys are doing that, I'll cut the ribbon and attach it to my bug. Awesome. I think I almost got it. There. Now the googly eyes are on. Now I can do the legs. Pink. There we go. Oh. It has an orange tongue. <laughs> Ta-da! Hey, Sam. Yeah? Where do cows go on vacation? I don't know where. New York City. And sometimes New Jersey. You got that right. What did the grape say when the elephant stepped on him? Nothing. He just let out a little wine. Get it? Because wine, people drink wine, and another wine is like, eh. Where do funny frogs sit? Silly pads. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hey, Alyssa, what? What's a skunk's favorite sandwich? I don't know. Peanut butter and smelly. <laughs> what do you call an elephant in a phone booth? Stuck. Oh.